Hi guys, Linda here. Um, I'm going to leave a link here. It's, I think it's like a three minute vid video to a trailer and this is really important. It's called Hot Water and they're going to be doing a documentary on this. And it wasn't, I think they started the documentary but didn't realize how in depth it got. And this is about the uranium where they've been mining uranium and it's in our drinking water now. And it's more than they thought and it's we're, we're worried about radiation, but now we need to look at a different form of where radiation is coming from. And so if you'd please just watch the video, it's three minutes and two seconds, I think. And um, we'll have to keep up with this and see if they keep posting more stuff because this is unreal what's going on. And it's not just in one state. It's happening. And um, if you'd remix this, I'd appreciate it. And let's get it out because we need to start taking care of ourselves and the earth. And let's get proactive on this. And I love all of you. Peace, love, and truth. And I'm out. Why did I make the film in the first place? It pissed me off. Finding out what we found out pissed me off. And I couldn't pretend not to know what I knew. People are getting sick from drinking their water. We went to South Dakota to make a documentary about some ranchers who were getting sick from their water. You get downwind from Riley Pass uranium mine, there's an awful lot of cancer. Then we found out how far reaching the problem is. Everything changed. What is causing all this cancer is uranium in the water. I you know what, my dad's spigot is hot. We've lost so many up and down a creek with cancer, but that's tough. Even up to 50 years ago, our people could drink that water, and now they can't. And it's from all these abandoned uranium mines. People have to acknowledge that there's a strong possibility that uranium is getting into underground water supplies. Nobody tests for radiation and uranium. No cities, no counties, no states. And that's one of the ways the uranium mining industry and it continues to say it's safe. It's because it's very difficult to prove. The reality is you're changing the whole geochemistry of that aquifer when you do that mining. And so to bring that uh, elevated concentration back down to drinking water standards is gonna be impossible to do. When we started filming, we thought this was just gonna be a one state issue. We covered nine states and thousands of miles and didn't even begin to touch all of the sites where the contamination is lying on the ground or in the groundwater already. Water killed my mother. I've been drinking this water my whole life, you know, as it slowly chipping away at me. They make a lot of money getting uranium. They can sure pay for my burials. Warning signs should be posted about the uranium danger. And we just keep adding loved ones. And this isn't something we get over. It just spins a, its ugly head in a different way. This whole question of nuclear power is at a watershed moment. It's too expensive, it's too dangerous, it's environmentally threatening. And we don't know how to deal with the mining issues, the waste of the mining, the tailings. We're poisoning ourselves and our planet and it's a shady bet that we're really going to be able to deal with this stuff in the time that we have. If our representatives knew how dangerous this truly is, they would be making very different decisions about how we handle uranium. I'm living proof. My family's living, well, dying proof that it's here and we're sitting on poisoned water. We need to get subscribed and get this unity stronger and beat YouTube at their own game. Okay, that's what this is about. Like I say, go to the remix button, hit the remix button. That way you'll have this video and, and keep up with this. Otherwise, you know, YouTube's just going to control us, guys, and it's, it's really bad.